टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द एपिकार्डियल एंड सब एंडोकार्डियल कोरोनरी ब्लड फ्लो व्हिच इज बेसिकली अ स्पेशल सिस्टम फॉर द ब्लड सप्लाई ऑफ हार्ट मसल्स नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड प्रीवियसली द ब्लड सप्लाई ऑफ द हार्ट एंड वी डिस्कस्ड दैट द टू मेन आर्टरीज दैट सप्लाई द हार्ट आर द राइट कोरोनरी आर्टरी ऑन द राइट साइड एंड द लेफ्ट कोरोनरी आर्टरी ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड and it further divides into small arteries and branches which basically supply the heart but once once uh, a large artery has taken its origin then to innervate the muscles there is a special pattern to innervate the muscles of the heart there is a special pattern and which we are going to discuss now in our new chapter on muscle blood flow cardiac output during exercise coronary circulation and ischemic heart disease we have reached the coronary circulation now as we discussed that the two main large arteries which are supplying blood to the heart muscles are the right coronary artery and the left coronary artery these arteries these arteries are further divided into small branches to supply the muscles of the heart so the main uh, the main pattern the main pattern with which they supply the muscles of the heart is the epicardial and the subendocardial blood flow now this coronary artery for example the right coronary artery this is the right coronary artery for example it is present on the it has a part present on the outside portion of the heart it has a it has some parts or arteries present on the outside surface of the heart then deep branches go inside the heart muscles these branches are intramuscular branches and then inside the heart just below the cavity just below the cavity of the heart there is endocardium and just below the endo- endocardium there are arteries which are known as the subendocardial coronary blood vessels so on the outer portion on the outer portion we have a blood vessels which is basically the epicardial blood vessel and here we are showing the epicardial blood vessel and this is on outside the heart this is on outside outer portion of the heart it is basically taking the blood now to take this blood deeply inside the muscles we have some intramuscular branches here we have the heart muscles here we have the heart muscles here we have the heart muscles now this is the epicardial this is the epicardial blood vessel and it is present outside it is present on the outside portion of the heart, the muscle or the heart now branches are coming from these uh, epicardial vessels and they are they are supplying the muscles this is the muscle and the branches supplying the muscles are basically the intramuscular branches these are the intramuscular branches now the heart cavities are the this is the right atrium this is the right ventricle this is the left atrium this is the left ventricle these are different cavities of the heart the lining or this the 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 lining or the inner surface of this cavity or any cavity of the heart the inner lining or the inner cavity or the inner surface of the heart is basically endocardium endocardium the outer is the epicardium and the middle portion is the myocardium epicardium myocardium and the endocardium so the outer blood vessels the outer blood vessels are basically the epicardial vessels they are present outside branches go in the muscles deep they penetrate deep inside the muscles and they supply the muscles that are present here these are the these are the penetrating branches of the epicardial uh, vessels these are the intramuscular penetrating branches which are basically supplying the muscles this is the muscle this is the muscle this is the muscle this is the muscle these these are being supplied by the intramuscular branches and then these intramuscular branches are connected with the subendocardial coronary blood vessels subendocardial 
coronary blood vessel is we discussed that the inner portion is the endocardium the outer is the epicardium and then in uh, between them is the myocardium now the inner portion this is the inner portion for example just below the inner portion we have the sub endocardial coronary blood flow so this pattern of blood flow to the heart has been drawn with this simple diagram and it shows that basically the blood that is coming to the heart is basically coming in the epicardial blood vessel from the epicardial blood vessel here it goes deep inside the muscle and it these branches are the intramuscular branches these are the intramuscular branches these are the intramuscular branches coming inside the heart and supplying the muscles of the heart and just below the endocardium just below the endocardium the inner cavity of the heart just below the inner cavity we have the sub endocardial coronary blood vessels so these are basically the sub endocardial coron coronary blood vessels now we see that this portion of the heart this portion of the heart has been enlarged here this portion of the heart it has been cut like this and it has been enlarged so this vessel you can see this vessel here this one is the epicardial blood vessel and these are the penetrating the intramuscular branches and finally we have the endocardial blood vessels or the sub sub endocardial blood vessels so the coronary cir circulation to the heart is in the form of epicardial blood vessels and sub endocardial coronary blood vessels or the epicardial coronary blood flow and sub endocardial coronary blood flow the more the most important thing is that blood to this uh, portion the sub endocardial sub endocardial uh, coronary vessels the blood to these vessels the blood flow to these vessels it gets decreased when the muscles when these muscles when the heart contracts especially the left uh, ventricle when the left ventricle especially contracts uh, more forcefully these muscles when contract the branches the branches the intramuscular branches the intramuscular branches which is taking the blood from the epicardial to the sub endocardial from the epicardial to the sub endocardial these branches gets compressed and the blood flow to the sub endocardial coronary blood vessels the sub endocardial coronary blood vessels may decrease so it is important in ischemia which is basically a decrease in the blood flow that occurs uh, sometimes which uh, we will discuss in detail but uh, this is the uh, the to summarize the lecture the coronary blood flow is present in such a way that the outer vessels are known as the epicardial coronary blood vessels then they give branches which are the intra uh, muscular branches and they take blood to the sub endocardial coronary blood vessels and the important thing is that the intramuscular branches especially in the left uh, ventricle may be compressed and it may decrease it may decrease the blood to sub endocardial portion and it may cause ischemia these vessels can also get blocked but they are due to other reasons the the the, the chances of decreased blood flow or the ischemia to these sub endocardial coronary blood vessels are more than the epicardial uh, coronary blood vessels so that's all about the epicardial and sub endocardial blood vessels